Good morning to all my awesome friends and family that are watching today. We are going to be doing a fairy garden high tea in the garden. As you see, this container was a mess. Now we're going to clean it out and put fresh soil on top and make it beautiful again. Hope you are going to enjoy this video. Please watch it to the very end. There's a lot of beautiful fairies at the end and I want you to see all the detail on their clothes. So make sure you watch it to the end. Okay, here we go. We have put some plants in that I bought at Home Depot this week. I think they turned out pretty nice. I love petunias and you don't have to do a lot of deadheading or caring and that's why I love them. And I wanted this to be a simple, beautiful little high tea in the garden and this plant here is like a little bush and that will be my tree and I will try to keep it trimmed up from the bottom and give it more of a tree like for next year we're starting with this little piece of moss that I got at the 99 cent no dollar tree the little table I already had so there was no cost for that and the little chairs that I'm going to uh, put with it I already had also and they've already been up on prior post and I think they look pretty good together because you got the tablecloth on top of the table and then you have the two chairs now this is high tea so now we have our little tea service this all came from one of my awesome followers Maria and I have showed this before but it was still a no cost because none of this stuff I bought this was all gifts from Maria I thought it turned out so cute because she loves to do miniatures, please go check out her channel. I thought everything turned out awesome. Please let me know what you think. Now we're going to make it even look nicer in just about one or two seconds. I'm going to use some of the crushed glass that I got from the Dollar Tree to cover it around like enlarging the little rug in the garden. What do you think? Leave me a comment. Put a lot more color in here. I didn't have too much the day that I did this, so this is as much as I could put in. But, you know, sometimes we don't have as much as we would have liked, but we make do with what we have. But I think it still looks nice. Once these plants fill out, you won't even notice the dirt at all. It will be beautiful. Let me know what you think about the tea service that Maria gave me. I thought it was so cute. I just loved it. And all the plants around it. Don't you think they're pretty? I love flowers in my garden. The only bad thing about them, they don't last long and you constantly have to take care of them. That's the only sad thing. That's why I'm doing more succulents. Oh no, what is that? Oh, what is it up in the sky? It's swimming. It's flying around the tea service. I hope it's not going to try to steal the treats on the table. Do you know it looks like a hummingbird? Hummingbirds don't usually go and steal off the tables. But we never know. Circling around, that hummingbird is coming. Getting a little nervous what's going to occur. You know, the fairies were looking forward to their high tea. I'm hoping that the bird doesn't eat anything off that table. Are you getting nervous like me? I don't know. Oh, I wanted to mention how all these plants cascade over the pot. Don't they look beautiful? I do like to do things like that. Well, I guess our hummingbird maybe gave, a, gave up. Oh no, he didn't give up. He's back for more. He's circling around and circling around. Oh my gosh, I hope those fairies hurry up and come and eat their food and drink their hot tea before that bird decides that it needs to have a little snack. What do you think is going to happen? I don't know myself. Makes me a little scared when I saw that bird just circling around the food. Like it wanted to come down and have well, a Well, I think I'm pretty well done with this now. I'm pretty happy. I probably should have 
bought some more green gravel from the 99 Dollar Tree to finish this up a little bit better, but I think I'm happy enough the way how it turned out. You know, we only can do so much. This uh, miniature garden was not very expensive. I think I invested maybe $3. Three dollars? How could that be? Well, I can tell you how it can be. Oh, Grandma's wrong. Grandma's wrong. Shoot, Grandma got too excited. She spent three dollars. No, yeah, three dollars um, on the glass gravel. I used one of the green, and I used one of the beige. I did use uh, a piece of. Uh, moss that I got at $1.99 store too, so that was $3 from that store. Then um, I probably spent, what is it, five, maybe $23 for this, probably for all the plants, because these plants were a little on the pricey side. Um, this, this ground cover is pretty pricey. And that ran in my bills a little bit. And this one big plant in the center was quite a little bit too. So that's why it costs so much. But still, it wasn't bad. Uh, it's high tea in the forest. And here are my beautiful little fairies. And you can see all the detail work on them. Her little bracelet and her pretty clothes how they are all so much detail on them. These fairies are probably six or seven years old or maybe older, they are not new. They stay out in the garden all the time. I paid quite a little bit for them when they were new and the reason why is because there is a lot of detail on them. I think I'm going to attempt to try to touch them up a little bit with some paint next year. Now, can you see all the detail and the corset on her and her pretty little dress? Needless to say, I'm not messing with the corset. I would never have it look that pretty. But maybe get a little paint on their hair and maybe add a little more color back to their dresses at the bottom. And I think that's about all the touch-up I would do. Their fairy wings still look a pretty good shape. Might add a little bit, but I don't know. We'll see. Mostly I think I'm touching up the hair because the hair looks all faded out. And the table I already had and the teapot and the plates and the cups and the little plate over there with all the goodies for the high tea for the fairies was given to me by Maria. So there was no cost for that. So it was still a very inexpensive fairy garden I put together. I really do love it. I hope you agree. High tea in the forest. How does that sound? Sounds like a great title to me. We'll go put it up and we'll see if anyone else thinks it's good. Let's see if we get any views on it. Well, bye bye for now, all my awesome followers. Don't forget this channel is designed for adults interested in gardening, comma, home decor, cooking, cleaning, DIYs, shopping hauls, or anything else Grandma can think she might want to do. I've joined a few new groups in the last couple of weeks, and let's see if Grandma can figure out how a way to join in on them, even though she doesn't do what they do. You know, I'm going to look a lot, and I bet I can find something in common that we can do together. Bye-bye for now. Please. Have an awesome day, my awesome friends.